So what happened was, is he's, he, he just passed away not too long ago and he was like 92. Right. And in the last four or five years, the last thing he recorded as Darth Vader was 2016 Rogue One. Mm -hmm. And he was in the sound booth and did it. But at that point, he was 83, 84. Mm -hmm. He's been bedridden, so he can't do voiceover, especially with that commanding Darth Vader voice standing up in a sound booth. He couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they had started with in this Star Wars show, The Mandalorian and Boba Fett, what they did is... They had Luke Skywalker, and what they did is Mark Hamill recorded voice, but Mark Hamill's in his 60s at that right. point. Oh, Sounds yeah, different, yeah. And he can't, and even if he tried to sound like the 26 year old version of himself, it may not happen that way. Right. So, what they ended up doing was they took all these recordings. He'd done the radio drama, he did ADR for mm -hmm. all the original movies. They had his voice when he was in his 20s, fed it to AI. Mm -hmm. And then what happened is he would record his voice now in his 60s gruff. <laughs> and it would turn it into the high pitch Mark Hamill. <laughs> and it did, and it sounded just like him. So he's mm. performing it, and ah. it's his performance so that, and inflection. Yeah, that extends his life as an and actor. Then, and then yeah. it sounds exactly like 26, 27-year-old Mark Hamill. Nice. Similarly, for the Obi-Wan series a few years later... James Earl Jones had signed a contract and sold mm -hmm. the rights to his voice as Darth Vader. And they had all of his original ADR and recordings as Darth Vader at the time, fed it to AI, and then the actor from the prequels, Hayden Christensen, would perform into the microphone as Darth Vader 